Yo, what up, guys? It is me, Jordan. I am back with a video. Whoa, two months later, right on schedule. <laughs> But today I'm actually doing a kind of different video. This is actually a pretty serious video. I am going to take it a bit seriously because, yeah, I can be a serious person. But this is all about safe sex because I went to this program called HTPPI. It stands for Hartford Teen Pregnancy Prevention Initiative. And it's all about safe sex and STDs. And it's honestly just such a fun program. I loved it. So everything I'm going to do in this video goes completely to HTPPI because... Um, everything that I learned was from them, so I totally give them total credits. Really hope this is not copyright, but let's get right to the video. Alright, so to start off with safe sex, we have condoms. Don't ask why I put mine in this water bottle. I don't know. Um, it's got the logo on it. What? But I also got these from HTPPI because, you know, they're really serious about their safe sex, so... All right, so here's the thing with condoms. There's actually a certain step-by-step -step rule that you have to do in order to get these on that I did not know about. I thought you bought them, slapped them on, and got on with the night. But no, it's actually quite a bit more complicated than that, fellas. First off, you have to make sure there are not any holes in this thing unless you really want to get a girl pregnant, but then you won't need this because it will not be necessary. All right, so by doing so, um, HTPPI taught me that you're supposed to, you know, make sure there's an air bubble, and there is in this one, so this is safe, even though I will never ever be using these, ever, because I'm 13. <laughs> that is so weird. But um, once you check for the air bubble, you don't go and open the thing, you need to check the expiration date and this um, expires in 2019, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, you know, if it's expired then it'll probably rip easier and again, that would totally eliminate the purpose of these, so make sure it is not expired. <laughs> All right, and then the next step is um, you need to push the condom to one side so that when you rip open the condom, you are not ripping the condom along with the wrapper. Again, totally defeat the purpose, and we do not need that because, again, just eliminate the purpose. And, um, you know, make sure the nip is right side up the way it's supposed to be because if you have it in this way and it's not supposed to be that way, it would be so much harder to roll on. Don't want to take too long. Again, yeah, this is really awkward. Nip is up. <laughs> Condoms are also, you know, pretty, pretty stretchy. You can use them like glue. <laughs> but if something like this happens during your um, intimacy, you're having kids. Sorry. I mean, you might not, but <laughs> be careful. All right, so here comes the, um, well, yeah, here comes a pretty important step. I guess they're all important. I was going to say most important, but they're all pretty important. That is putting on the condom correctly. And I do not have male anatomy with me, so I have a banana. <laughs> Make sure when you have a condom, you have lube, you know? Yeah, lube. You can put it inside the condom, outside the condom. Extra lube is always good. Less friction equals less chance of the condom breaking. So, uh, gotcha. All right, important step. Putting it, I cut like the, the tip, cause um, yeah. From what I learned at HTPPI is, you know, put it on there, but you need to hold the tip. You do not want air pockets. And then you just, this is hard to do, and I can't really show you guys, but I'm trying. Um, and then you just, roll it on you know gotta get it on all the way you need to make sure that there is not an air bubble because if there is an air bubble when a male ejaculates it could pop and then boom babies <laughs> but um you know make sure you you get covered up you have to um you need to make sure there aren't any wrinkles in it. You gotta just, you know, be cautious. Wear protection. You should not be having sex under the age of, I think the legal age is 18. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 18. You should not be having sex under the age of 18 
um, because it's it's not legal. And if you are having sex and you don't want kids, then you should definitely be having safe sex. It also um, it decreases the risk of STDs because some STDs you live with your whole life and they can kill you. So, um, <laughs> you know, wear your condoms. And when you're done with them, you have to take them off maybe um, over, let's see, probably over a trash can. If you take them over a toilet and put this in the toilet, um, they said that it can clog your pipes because it will blow up. So make sure you put it in a little like toilet paper and tissue paper. You roll it up and you throw it away. And one of the ladies there said that you do not take it off over a female because sperm to live seven to 10 days on the body either inside or outside again you could get pregnant and that would just um if you don't want that that just would not be good all right i think that's all i'm going to cover today for my um very serious very safe sex Health video thingamajig. Shout out to HTPPI, you guys are the bomb.com. I loved your program. I loved the bowling night. It was so, so much fun. Learned a lot. Now I'm sharing, now I'm passing on their amazing knowledge to all of you guys. I'll leave the HTPPI link down below. They have a Twitter. You guys should definitely go, you know, follow them for all these updates and stuff. It's either you have safe sex or no sex at all. Peace out.